and this is Geek Must Have, and this is a post bag. Uh, I like these particular post bags because this little flower up here in the corner means the package came from Adafruit. And Adafruit has some great educational stuff. And it says uh, Adafruit Industries on there, and it even says Educational Electronic Kits. I think I know what's in here. Uh, I usually or do my orders on Wednesday from Adafruit.com because they give you a secret word to give you a 10% off coupon. And I usually wait until Wednesdays to get my orders, or Wednesdays to place my orders. I think I know what's in here, which would be pretty cool if it is what I think it is. Ah, it is. It is my Raspberry Pi 3. Model B. This particular one's got some extra goodies on it that make it a very nice one. And a $5 Raspberry Pi Zero, uh, version 1.3. Even when you go on some of the Chinese websites like Alibaba and AliExpress, these are 11 to $13. Try to buy a few of these so I have a few of these in stock. 20 by 20 pin dual male header strip. I know that's terribly exciting. So one other box in here. And I think that is foam. Yep, got some of that high density foam. And it is, yes. Got to be very careful with this. This is my it's a blackout panel. You basically apply current to it and it blacks out. Now there was a very cool video done by Lady Cyborg, a uh, young Chinese do-it-yourself enthusiast who happens to be extremely cute, who did uh, a costume for a uh, party, a uh, post party, where she had uh, a bank of these that she printed up some cases for and then wore around her midsection and she could turn them off on and off flashing people and while some people may consider that to be inappropriate I thought it was a very clever use of this blackout panel I got a couple of ideas for how I might go about using this panel we'll safely put it aside I was told to be very careful with these because these are very fragile I think I'm probably going to be leaving this in the box it came in. And it says LCD for electric welder helmet. That's kind of funny. That's a kind of a fun thing to play with. The Raspberry Pi, which is the latest model. You can get these on the Chinese websites, but a lot of times they're not much cheaper then this one from Adafruit and the one from Adafruit you're going to get you know it's going to be good and if there's any problems you're not going to have any problems returning this and it comes in a nifty little brown pouch brown baggy thing yep. and here it is it's basically got uh, four USB ports an Ethernet port power jack HDMI cable it's got the 40 pin roll of general purpose I.O. it's even got the camera jack on the side here so you can hook up a Raspberry Pi camera to it if you want to and on the bottom it's got a micro SD slot for you to be able to put in a micro SD card and add storage to it now this little puppy runs a variant of Linux called Raspbian uh, I haven't actually played with one of these oh there's a display adapter the camera adapter I made a mistake this is the display adapter right here and then this is the camera adapter they're that same type of very thin cable adapter that you can use this board should be kind of interesting to play with and now on to the Raspberry Pi Zero this is version 1.13 it is a miniaturized version version of the Raspberry Pi. It's a great kit to uh, 
a great board to actually build a project from. It's got the uh, micro SD on the side for you to be able to connect and do the operating system component. There's HDMI cable, both power sockets, and I believe, yeah, this is a camera port again, so you can hook a camera up. It's got four mounting holes on it. It has the 40 pin general purpose I.O. that you basically stick this header in and solder it in there and then you can hook things up or you can solder directly to it. These are pretty cool for putting into embedded type of projects. Don't have a purpose for this just yet, but it is a good thing to have in your kit. So it is the Raspberry Pi Zero, the miniature version of its bigger brother here. Obviously with, you know, less power and capabilities, but uh, all the same, kind of a unique thing f to play with. The Raspberry Pi does, well, when you get it from Adafruit, it comes with a uh, nice set of beginner instructions. One of the other nice things about working with Adafruit is Adafruit has a ton of videos on how to go about using both the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspberry Pi for various types of projects and the tutorials and the instructions in there are absolutely gorgeous. They're detailed down to the last bit. I think anybody from a beginning electronics person all the way to somebody who's kind of seasoned and has a lot of experience can find usefulness out of those videos. I'm probably going to be using a couple of them to do a project but the one I have in mind for the Raspberry Pi is a hat that plugs onto here that controls an RGB matrix. Uh, I'll be getting the actual RGB matrix hat from Adafruit as well. When I get the two of these together and my panels together I'll have a video on doing an RGB matrix using some inexpensive RGB panels that I picked up AliExpress. Uh, I'm looking forward to using these boards. Um, I had fun making this video and I hope you enjoyed it and possibly learned something from it. Uh, I plan on learning something from the components that I got today. If you like this video then please click on the like button. Leave any questions or feedback in the comment section below and uh, I have a request. Can you geek Give a geek a hand and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Now, take a little time off and go build something.